Hello everyone, welcome to another video of my channel. Today I'd like to discuss about third colors problem and solve this problem using the Dutch flag algorithm which is a kind of two-pointer solution approach. Okay, let's have a look at the problem at first. It says that we'll be given an array nums with n objects which will be colored either red, white or blue. What we need to do is sort them in place. Remember the word in place so that the objects of the same color are adjacent with the other colors in the order red, white and blue. So we are given an order the all the red colored objects will be at first after that the white colors and at last the blue colors so we'll be denoting the colors with code for red it will be zero for white it will be one and for blue it will be two so what this problem becomes it becomes that we'll be given an array having values whose value can either be 0, 1 or 2 and if you have a look at this example in this array these uh, elements are unsorted state that means what we need to do is simply sort them if we sort them definitely all the zeros will be together then all the ones and twos will be together we can come to a conclusion that we will have to sort an array here the case is that the now uh, the values of the elements of the array are fixed either 0 1 or 2 now we would like to solve this problem using dutch flag algorithm as you can see in the dutch flag there are three colors and in the flag two horizontal rows have separated them so we will use this approach as our intuition to solve this problem let's say this is the array and here we will have two pointers situated at the two ends at first suppose it's the left pointer and it's the right pointer now what will be our logic our logic is if we get any zero we place the zero uh, before the left pointer that means we increment the left pointer and place the zero in the previous position of the left pointer so what we have done is we have placed the zero at the left pointer's position and increment the left pointer now if we get a two we will have to place it next to the right pointer that means the, at first the two will be placed in the position of the right pointer and the value of right pointer will be decremented by one now what we are left is one if we encounter any one we do need to do nothing we just place one in the middle thus we can sort them in line and we do not need to use any external space remember the thing we simply use the same array that is given to us and we solve it in linear time now let's come to the algorithm and solve a given example according to it we have taken an example array we will implement our algorithm here at first we have initialized our pointers both the left and current pointers will be at the very first index and the right pointer will be at the very last index here the task of the current pointer is every time we encounter the loop we take the value at current pointer for comparison when the value of this current pointer will be greater than that in this right pointer value we will terminate our loop if we encounter a zero what we do is we swap the value in the current pointer position with the value in the left pointer position that means we swap those two values and after that we increment the value of the left and current pointer by one if we encounter if the value two so what we do is we swap the value at the current pointer index with that in the right pointer index and this time we just decrement the value of this right pointer by one now we are left with the value one that means whenever we will encounter the value one in the current pointer index we do nothing that means we don't do any swapping we simply increment the value of the current pointer by one now let's solve it at first we got a two since we got a two what we do is we swap the 
current pointer value with the right pointer value and after swapping we decrement the right pointer by one so it looks like this now again in the current pointer value index we got a value 0 so when we get 0 we swap the current pointer index value with the left pointer index value so in this case we were we are swapping the same same element so the 0 will be simply 0 and what we need to do is we increment the value of both left and current pointer by 1 now the similar case like the previous one has happened we can we have again got a 0 so we replace this 0 with this 0 which means the zero will be remain will remain in this position and after that we increment the both left and current pointer value by one now we have got a two that means we need to swap this two with this one and after that we decrement the right pointer value by one now our current pointer is pointing to this one as we have discussed earlier if we get one here we do no swapping we simply increment the value of this current pointer by one again we have encounter one in the current pointer as current pointer value we do nothing no swapping we increment the value of this current pointer by one now if we have a look at the values of the current and right pointer this means the current pointer has been greater than right pointer that means we are done our loop will be terminated here and if we have a look at the array we got our answer so if we solve the problem using this dutch flag algorithm what we can see is we can solve this problem in linear time that means big o of n and here we have used no external memory that means our space complexity here is constant now let's solve this problem in lead code so this is our problem and this is the solution using c plus plus and using the way we just discussed let's submit this problem we got success and i will give you the link of this problem along with the link of this solution in the description box i hope you guys have understood the problem and also the solution approach thank you everyone for watching the video <music>